It just hits you like, oh, like, I'm really about to see these dudes. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel like chemistry. everyone it's your girl Paige here with Soulful Paige and I'm back with another video in case you can tell by the title today I am going to Atlanta for another concert this time it is 80s and for the first time ever I'm actually be going to this concert completely alone and this is actually gonna be the first concert in the US that I've ever gone to by myself this is definitely gonna be a new little exciting challenge for me you know so I thought it'd be fun to take you on like how I enjoy concerts alone different solo activities I can find to do while I'm in Atlanta as you guys could see I had to get you know a little Starbucks run I am such a holiday drink girl I like as much as I love a good pumpkin spice nothing beats the winter drinks I think my favorite one is still the camel brulee but today I wanted to try something different so I got the chestnut praline one which I heard by a lot of people they say the chestnut praline one is the top of the top when it comes to the winter beverages so we're gonna try it out and see how I like it it's not bad it's almost like I don't know it kind of reminds me of like like hazelnut in a way like a smoother less harsh hazelnut but it's pretty good so we're about to head on out and I'll probably see you guys when I get to the hotel and as always if you like this content like what you see feel free to click that like comment and subscribe for me and I'll see you guys on the road Hey guys, so I just made it to the hotel and it's super cute. I went ahead and booked like king room on the corner. Um, Cause you know, I'm like going on a trip by myself. As a woman, definitely want to feel safe and secure in my room and also maybe a little bit bougie, just a little bit. But I thought I would go ahead and show you the hotel room. Also peep the fit. Eat, eat, eat sweatshirt i bought off a of black owned business a smaller black owned business and in case you can't read it it says anime and trap music and i've had this for like a while now and it's super cute and then these flared leggings i got from h m shoes from coupon but let's look at the room so if i slide this right here because it's a slide door we have the bathroom and it's pretty big come over to the side you see the mirror to your right and then we have the room view but if you turn to the right again you have this cute little sitting area and the view is actually pretty nice from right here but i really like how it looks from the room and then you walk up and this is the room it's a lot smaller than i thought it was gonna be but it's still pretty cute because it's right in the middle of the city the only parking that they offer is valet which i don't have a problem because the valet itself is about 35 dollars a day but then i still get unlimited um ins and outs so i'm craving pork belly i want to have k barbecue but i need to see if there's even a place that offers k barbecue because most curry barbecue places when they serve their meats it's usually serves two type of deal mm -hmm. but as you can see I am a one. A lot of times I've struggled with just finding a curry barbecue place for myself, but sit and try and research if I can find a place that allows that for me. But if not, then we'll just find a local spot just to grab something to eat and then come back and relax. I just found a spot and I know I said I was probably gonna go in and eat, but they also like have deliveries. I feel like I'm just way too tired to actually like get up and want to drive through more Atlanta traffic tonight. So I'm just gonna listen to my body and just make this a relaxed night in. Tomorrow I'm gonna be get up fresh and early and just be up and about and having a grand old time before the concert. So I think that's gonna be the new plan.
Hey guys, so a bit of a fit check for this morning. Happy Saturday. Oh goodness, not Saturday, it's Monday. I'm so used to doing concerts on a Saturday, so this Monday concert that ATs is doing is really throwing the vibes off, I'll tell you that. I am about to head out. I'm gonna go get some breakfast and then I found out the cafe I liked um, is actually close to my hotel. So I was gonna go and do that and then just kind of check out the area before I have to go to the pop-up for my pickup time. But just go ahead and shot the outfit. I'm wearing hella layers right now because it is 30 degrees. Beige long sleeve top I got from Luffy Closet or something like that in Korea. And then this Argyle cardigan, which is my favorite cardigan for the longest time now i got this actually from tj maxx these pants i always wear from h&m and then these boots are from shoe pen and then i'm just gonna throw on my black jacket i wasn't gonna wear the trench coat but it's still way too cold so i think black jacket's gonna be the move and then because it's 80s day you guys see it this is my little 80s bag i actually got off of etsy and i'll put the shop name on here if you're interested but it's super cute yay Let's head out because I am hungry. Hey guys, so I just got my car back. We're about to head out to go to Sweet Hut and get some coffee and some really good pastries because last time I went there was like in 2017 and their pastries always fucking slapped. So I have high hopes that it still slaps. Um, but yeah, let's go explore Atlanta. up to Sweet Hut and turns out they're closed until 11 a.m. And then the other cafe I wanted to go to, they're also closed until 11 a.m. Me going at 11 a.m. wouldn't work out just because of the fact that my meetup time for the pop-up shop is at 12. So I wouldn't even really be able to sit down and enjoy myself because I would have to rush to the pop-up. Even the manga shop I wanted to check out, they're not open up until 11 a.m. And I'm like, is there anything around here that's not open? at 11 a.m. that is in Starbucks. There's actually quite a lot of cafes that are open right now. Pretty sure most of the money I'm gonna spend on this trip is just from parking. Cafe was super good. I really liked it. I got like that orange mocha and it was actually pretty good. And I got an egg tart. You know, I love eating some egg tarts. Those are my favorite things. And it was very eggy. So I guess it achieved its goal. I went ahead and I drove on over here to where the location of the pop-up shop is. It's supposed to open in about 20 minutes, but I'm about to head out there already. Knowing a teeny, I feel like there's already gonna be a line. Let me go ahead and head downstairs and find this place because a lot of people have been saying it's a little confusing to get there. So we're gonna need some time to walk around and figure it out. <laughs> Let's just take it slow. saw i went and head to the k-pop store but there's actually a wait list to get in so i just went ahead and wrote my name down on the sign-in sheet i mainly just came here because i had some time before the cup sleeve event was supposed to start because there's a bubble tea shop just not too far from here and they're doing a cup sleeve event for 80s anniversary as well as um, nct's anniversary it didn't start until 1 30 so i was like oh let me just come to the to the k-pop store but I'll wait here for a bit and then we'll see how quickly he calls me, but uh... I'm trying to pick which version. 
version of No Limit that I want. Because I got version 2 and version 3. And I think they have version 1, but I have no idea which one I want. You can see I'm back in my hotel room just getting ready for the concert. Doors open in about a little over an hour and a half. So I have a perfect amount of time to start getting ready. I definitely wanted to try and get there around 5.30 since the doors open up at 6. I'm in love. Butterflies. Am I nervous right now for a concert? That's insane. It just hits you with like, oh, like, I'm really about to see these dudes. I actually successfully avoided most spoilers for the show. I don't really know anything about the set list except for the fact that Cyberpunk is definitely on the playlist, which I'm just like, because that was the one song that I was like, I need them to do this from their newest album. I'm like, if I don't get anything else, I need to get Cyberpunk. And I am. I always win. So I only really know that Gorilla's being performed and Cyberpunk's performing because I was like, let me try and avoid any and all spoilers that I can, you know? I want it to be fresh. Seems to make it look 100% amazing. Bitch, if they do mist, if there's ever a chance the person sitting next to me in the arena sees this video, if they perform this, I'm sorry for the person I'm gonna become. I brought these little butterflies and I wanted to try and put some on my face, but I forgot my lash glue to be able to put them on. Nor did I bring my tweezers. I don't know why I'm acting like this is some glue. These most definitely are not gonna last long, but they managed to get up there though. <laughs> the third butterfly. Or that's fine. Let me just. <laughs> Hopefully that means they'll stay, but I. I highly doubt they're gonna stay that long. I already know I'm gonna lose my voice on that song. They want us to headbang, we gonna give them headbanging. So this is the final look inspired by Inception, just not full Inception because it's cold outside today. So I got a white button down that I've had for years. I don't know where I got it. This Argyle sweater vest I got from Mixo in Korea. This skirt I got from, I think it was AA Place in Korea. And then I went ahead and I added some cute little leg warmers that I got off of Amazon and then my loafers I got from ASOS I think. Rise with this double chain necklaces I got from H&M and then my Korean hunger earrings that I got while I was in Korea. So far the butterflies are still holding up so we're good. Also I'm really sad because as I was ironing this shirt I got like burn stains on it. But I'm pretty satisfied with this look so we're gonna pack the bag up and then we're gonna head out. carry these two in 
Y'all, the way I originally wanted to get here early enough to take pictures, but in reality, I got lost looking for this damn parking lot for so fucking long. Let me just get inside. Also, once again, I'm not bringing my camera because I don't think I'm allowed to bring it in there and I don't want to risk getting up there and then them being like, nah, you got to turn around and take that back because I will start crying because that's how frustrated I am right now. It's okay. We still about to break that wall. Hey, gorilla. Hey, y'all. We out here with the Black AP.
It's only the third act and my voice is completely gone. What the fuck do I do?
올해 처음 여기 도시 왔을 때 제가 에이두니한테 분명 자기 자신을 많이 사랑했으면 좋겠다라는 말을 했었는데 When I first came to the city earlier this year, I told Aitini that I really wish that you would love yourselves. 뭔가 무대를 즐기는 에이투니를 보면서 그걸 그 약속을 잘 지키고 있구나라는 생각이 들었어요. But while I saw you guys enjoying yourselves fully, I really felt like you kept your promise. You're making a promise with me today. 오늘 이 행복한 기억을 힘들 때마다 조금씩 꺼내어서 지치지 않게 언제나 에이티즈가 늘 곁에 있다는 걸 알아주셨으면 좋겠습니다. Every time you're going through a hard time, I hope that you take this good memory and use it so that you don't feel sad anymore and always think of us. I love you. 그럼 지금까지 에이티즈였습니다. 둘, 셋! 에이티즈! 감사합니다. 이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이
think we need them 20 hours. 지나간 시간이 아까.